Middlesex's slim chances of reaching the semi-finals disappeared with a five-run defeat in a thrilling Clydesdale Bank 40 match on the Scarborough coast. And these are the highlights. Yorkshire are the leaders of Group B and came into this match having won eight of their nine matches to date. They won the toss and batted and made a good start thanks to their captain Andrew Gale and Jacques Rudolph, a player in ludicrously good form at the moment. So when you get the chance to get him out, you need to take it. But Middlesex didn't. Tim Murta was the unlucky bowler as John Simpson standing up dropped the edge. It was Gale though who dominated the opening stand of 50. He'd made 36 off 27 balls when he pulled Toby Roland Jones to Tom Scully at deep mid wicket. Adam Lai then failed on his home ground in front of a sun-drenched 6,500 crowd as he swooped an attempted flick off his legs to O.A. Shah and was out for three. That put Yorkshire on 59 for two in the 10th over, but Middlesex were unable to get another wicket in the next 23 overs as Rudolph and Anthony McGrath added an excellent 138 runs for the third wicket. It was to be the partnership which set up the innings. Rudolph came into this match as the competition's leading scorer with 518 runs at an average of 85 and a half. And he was adding to that as he went to another 50, made off 52 balls. McGrath too is having an exceptional season with the bat and he also looked very good here. He too went to a 50, his coming off 63 balls with only four fours. He was out for 68 as he sliced a drive off Murta out to David Milan but he'd helped the total to an impressive 197 for three in the 33rd over. And that meant that the rest could throw the bat in the third power play. Jonathan Bairstow tried, but got a tickle behind off Roland Jones to go for three. And Gerald Brophy chipped Murta to Gareth Berg at mid-wicket and was out for one. Yorkshire appeared to be losing their way a bit, but Rudolph stood firm to go to his third hundred of the summer in this competition. It was another brilliant innings from the country's informed player right now, it had taken him only 98 balls as well. It was a good job he stayed there until the end as nobody else was finding scoring that easy. Tim Bresden edged Murter off one hand and was taken at third man by Shah to go for eight. And that left Rudolph to finish off the innings with his 13th four. He batted the entire innings for 124 off 108 balls, taking his side to 250 for six from their 40 overs. Middlesex made an impressive start in the pursuit of their target with Scott Newman again looking in good touch as he did in last week's championship match. Simpson though had a life when he looked set to jog back to the pavilion after squirting a shot in the air off Stephen Patterson. And he looked as if he was going to make Yorkshire pay for that when he gloriously pulled Bresden for six, the first of the match. However, Adil Rashid then came on and struck with his first ball having the sweeping Simpson leg before for 17, but 47 for one in the ninth over. Rich Pyro was awarded his Yorkshire cap before the game, but couldn't celebrate with an early wicket as he put down Newman off his own bowling. He then watched the man he'd spilled smash him back over his head for an enormous six. A cut four off Ben Sanderson took Newman to his half century. He'd faced 44 balls, hitting four of them to the fence and two of them over it. He and Shah took the total to 101 at the end of the 18th over and Middlesex were well placed, but crucially they lost Shah for 23 when he swung across the line at McGrath's first ball and was bowled. Newman was now the key and he continued to blaze away hitting Sanderson for his third maximum. But Middlesex just couldn't build that substantial partnership which Yorkshire had managed in their innings. Milan was next out for 17 at 135 for three, bold as he tried to reverse sweep Rashid. Then in the next over, the 26th, Newman was given out leg before, although it was clear that he was not that happy with the decision. He'd made 77 of 70 deliveries. The mid-innings collapse continued as Berg top edged a sweep to McGrath at short fine leg to go for three, and Scolle was bang in front to McGrath for a quick 10, leaving Middlesex in 156 for six, with 10 overs to go. With the run rate required now at nine and a half runs per over, they needed Neil Dexter to shine. But it appeared that he would have to do it all alone as more wickets fell around him. Sean Udall was bowled by Patterson for 10, and Murta Sky Pirate a long off to depart on seven. 57 were now needed from 37 balls with only two wickets in hand. But Roland Jones gave Middlesex some hope as he made 23 off 18 balls, including this six. 
and Dexter reached his 50 in the penultimate over of 39 balls with his sixth four. So 13 were needed off the last over, and that was brought down to six off the last ball to tie. However, that was not on, and Middlesex fell just five runs short. Without that mid-innings collapse, they probably would have won, but the result means that they can no longer make the semis, and they will now have three games left in the tournament with nothing more than pride to play for.